Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning here. Since I missed Thanksgiving, I wanted to um, do something with a verse about thankfulness. And this one came to mind. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Psalm 92, verses 1 and 2. I've been trying to be more mindful of being thankful lately. It's so easy to get into the negatives when we look at our circumstances or what's going on in the world. I think it's important to remember how good we have it. And then yesterday was Thanksgiving and I hadn't done a video and I didn't really know what to do this morning. So this came to mind and I thought that would be nice. All right, so so what I did there, I folded my piece of paper in half that has the verse on it. Oh, and in case you're interested, the font I used is called Alehouse Script. And so that's what I used for the verse. And so then I folded my 8.5 by 11 in half, which matches the size of our template for our journal and now I'm going to put well I folded this the bottom half I folded it back on itself because I thought it would be nice if we made like a pocket and this could be like a thankful section instead of just a thankful page because then you could add little tags and stuff of things you're thankful for. So, more glue. I had bought these napkins thinking I was going to do something with them and I hadn't yet, so I don't really do the pumpkins thing in real life so maybe it's okay if I have a napkin with some pictures of them. I do enjoy pumpkin seeds. I want to be careful not to get that mountain of glue. it out. Um, does need a lot of glue. have to cover this part. Otherwise the napkin will let go right away. This glue seems to dry very quickly anyways. And if I put the net or the cling film over top, then I can rub the napkin a little harder than I would if it wasn't there. This glue is dry enough though so that I've been able to reuse my cling film from the last one I did. So then once the purple is dry, I can trim that. Looks alright. So our first one should be dry, so we will go working with that one. 
All right, so I get a lot of um, scrap paper from my job. There seems to be paperwork. Well, there is paperwork every day, so I've been trying to save some, and that's what I usually make notepads out of. But today I was thinking, what can we put in our pocket to go with Thanksgiving? And I thought if we took a few sheets of scrapbook paper, scrapbook, scrap paper that we have, it can be any kind of paper, something you want to write on. Um, I would normally staple it for a little booklet. I have about eight pieces of paper here. So then I'll see if my short stapler will tackle this. It should work. It should have enough room there. If you don't have a short stapler that will do this. Well, you could make your notepad a little narrower. That's what I might do. Anyway, so now that we have that, it's not quite flush. So what we could do is kind of run it through the trimmer. So I may as well just trim it then. I think I'm going to trim it about half an inch. Wow, good trimmer. I wasn't expecting it to take all of that at once. Okay. It's because it's folded. It's not quite. Let's see. What, what, can we get any closer? I could have just used my craft knife too, but sometimes my success rate with that isn't the greatest. So, anyways, got it done. So that looks a little more like a notebook to me. So then what I was thinking was this could be like a mini journal of just the things that we're thankful for. And then we could decorate the pages a little bit inside. We could ink it. We could put stickers in, I don't know, watercolor. You could probably do pretty much anything. Um, I was playing yesterday with watercolor and I made some borders. I'll show you the ones I made. Might as well use that one because it's seasonal. I cut out some roses out of some scrap of paper because I didn't think I was going to use that particular sheet. It was a little busy. Busy? Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Might put that on the front and then just write something like There, you know, you don't have to be fancy, you could just do whatever comes, comes. I need the well, I know because our Lord says He looks at the heart. So, if we're thankful, that's where we're thankful, it's in the heart.
All right, so inside I might do a border. Might just do this whole thing on the bottom and trim it. Could use glue, could use two sided tape until it's empty. Excuse the noise. Then you have to go get some more. I bought this big pack of 12, I think it was from Amazon, thinking it was going to take me a really long time to use that up. <laughs> I mean, I still have plenty, but also I'm really enjoying using it. And yeah, when you, ah, when you go through it or when you start using stuff, then surprisingly, guess what? You end up using it up. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my scissors. Okay, so this one I made with a stamp and I just wrote hello fall. And I watercolored, um, what did I watercolor? I think that was book page. In fact, all of these are book page. And some of them I drew on. And I did get this idea from somebody on YouTube, but I can't recall right now who it was. But yeah, he can just simply design things. Like I said, stickers would work. Pretty much anything you want could work. You can draw on it, doodle. Something like that, and then and you don't have to do every page. You could put some lines on it, you could stamp on it. Um, but since I have these, I'm going to use them. So I'm thinking of what I'm thankful for today. I think one of the biggest things is that we're not at war. Here in Canada, we have situations that aren't pleasant, but we have it really good when I look around and see what other countries and places are going through. Praying for Israel. Praying for Ukraine, praying for the people, all the people affected, and that they would find the Lord, that the Lord would open their eyes so that they might know him, especially in the days we're living in. It's never been more important to know him than it is right now. As we see that day approaching. And yes, I could have inked the strips too. I didn't think of it. But I did think of something for the very first page. And that was...
right, how much we got left here? A couple more pages. And so basically I just looked around for what I had today. I didn't, well, aside from the actual page, which I should show you, shouldn't I? <laughs> I seem to have gotten sidetracked on the details this morning. But I'm almost done. And here I thought I had made so many of these strips. I was like, what am I going to do with them all? And just right here, the answer provided. Do you ever feel like you're making all this stuff and you don't know that there's a reason for it and then all of a sudden you find a way to bless somebody? Well, guess who's behind that? All good things come from above. And see, this is the last one that I liked. So if I want more, guess what? I have to make more. Okay, so it's not super fancy, but don't you think you would enjoy writing in something like that if you made it? Or if it was given to you, knowing that somebody else had actually gone and done the work for you? I know, it's a little thick at the bottom. I could have spread the borders. I've done some on top and some on bottom, but... This time they just all ended up on the bottom. Alright, so let's get back to the page of the day. Alright, so I have to trim off the part that's not needed here. Or... Since that's going to be kind of a little pocket, I could just I think I'm just going to tape it in there. Otherwise, we might have trouble with the edge here later. I was going to suggest, I know, we could use either washi tape or a sticky label. I have some washi tape close by. And it rips. It rips very well. So I'm staying on this side of the fold so that um, it doesn't bulk up there. I don't want to straighten that out.
But we're not going to see that because it's going to be attached. I could tuck that in too. Not much left of our pumpkins, is there? Oh well. Enough left to see what they are. This is where it's attached. That's where we have it folded. I think I'm just going to take my knife and trim it to as close to the page as I can. I ripped it a little bit. Over there too. Not good. thing is, I was thinking about doing like a corner around. I still could, couldn't I? Sorry about the noise. And yes, I know I hold my corner rounder upside down. That's because I like to see that the corner is actually going to get um, rounded where I want it to be. There we go. It's another day of workarounds. Got it. <laughs> All right, so the pumpkins are on there. And then we're going to um, stick this down. That looks kind of neat. If you can see the shadow on the other side. Anyways. Um, I was wondering if there would be an advantage to not tucking it down or tacking it down. I mean, you could make like a pocket, like a hidden pocket here. Yeah, we could do that. Why don't we? I'm just going to put tape on the sides there and on the side here. And then see you have you have this as a tuck a narrow pocket like narrow this way it's quite wide that way and then we're going to do the same thing on this side
cover up some of the verse, but it is what it is, I guess. You could move your writing up or make it smaller so you could see more of the page. I can see all the verse if I open it up. And then you can put something in your pocket there. Like that. And then we need to um, put holes. I don't know, maybe I should have stayed in bed this morning. Not feeling like this is the most wonderful project, but oh well. I'm thankful that I at least thought of something. <laughs> Get it? Thankful. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to see where the holes are. I don't know about yours, but my journal is getting a little on the um, full side, so I've actually gone and ordered some bigger rings because I don't feel like I'm done yet. Um, so, yeah, I'm waiting for larger rings and also different kinds because I find these can at times be hard to open. If the um, what do you call it? The, the bulk of this ring see like right now it's on the inside. If it's outside fine so then you gotta kind of play with it and coax it to the outside then you open to your page and then these rings here can be kind of hard to open i'm just gonna go for my store-bought reinforcements today because they're handy. Alright, maybe I'll do both sides. Since it's just copy paper, it's not the strongest. All right there and then we can put that in there all right so that's today's page and there we go and all we have to do is remember to use it and to be thankful. All right. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.